So in the beginning of the year, around February, they, um, they the CrossFit Games headquarters, puts out five weeks worth of workouts. Um, around, I think it was around 350,000 people tried to sign up and they tried to do these five workouts. And then at the end of the five weeks, if you are qualified with the high enough scores, you move on to regionals, which is where I competed. And the regionals is, um, just like as it sounds, a regional group of athletes. So for me, it was Latin America, South America, and most of the southern states. 50 men represent that region, and the top five that place at regionals from that region move on to the games, which is where they're trying to find the world's fittest man. Before leading up to the games was midterms, so that was great timing. But uh, most of my preparation doesn't change too much. Um, my training is tailored a little bit just to make sure that my body's fresh and ready to go uh, about a week before. But much of what got me to this point, I maintain just because it's what was successful. Um, so my training is, is pretty diverse um, from weightlifting to gymnastics um, to endurance to exercises and all of it is in preparation for the events at the games. Favorite event in the regionals was the one I won. Um, I took first in event two. It was dumbbell snatches and ring dips. It was a quick fast workout um, and it was a lot of fun just to burn right through it and uh, luckily I took number one. It was fun. I've been to the regionals before in the East region because I was from Connecticut originally. Um, the East region is known to be a very strong region with a lot of good competitors. Um, and the, the South region, which I attended this year, is also a strong region, but maybe not as strong typically. Um, but going to this region was, you know, a new experience, something different. Um, and meeting new people, having a fun time in San Antonio, and getting to experience, you know, just like a different venue, um, you know, a new atmosphere. You know, it's always a lot of fun, and it's always a good challenge. So, um, I enjoy going to a new venue um, and just testing myself against different athletes. Really, the events are always challenging. Um, you know, there's always one or two in particular that everyone really, you know, tests themselves on physically and mentally. Um, I think the first one right off the bat, you know, it was a long workout, pretty taxing, challenging. Um, and I think that that was a good test for all of us just to start the weekend and set the pace. Um, and, you know, we really just kicked off um, a good weekend of competition and gave us a good run. My father actually got me into CrossFit. I was a wrestler in college and in high school. Um, and when I graduated my undergrad, I was still um, seeking athletic uh, competition. And uh, my father uh, started CrossFitting himself. And then he suggested I start because it's very similar in intensity and um, movements to uh, high intensity sports. And so I started CrossFitting and was naturally pretty gifted at it. And then I started competing after that. Roughly, I train an hour and a half every day, um, and that varies depending on the day of the week, if it's the weekend, how many tests I have to study for, and, and the schedule that my days allow for. I eat more than the average person, because um, I am training so much and burning so many calories throughout the day. Uh, I'm usually eating about four meals a day, if not more, including snacks. Um, and then most of them are prepared myself. So I make most of my meals day to day um, with a really good concentration on, on what fuels me um, and what will keep me um, competing in a very high athletic performance. Almost the same passion for me um, because, you know, Fitness and exercise is such a big part of being an ND, um, and, and you know, 
it's almost like you're trying to walk, you know, and walk the walk and, and give, um, you know, example to your patients. So um, being fit, being um, conscious of your exercise, your nutrition, um, being an athlete, you know, ties directly into becoming an ND and hopefully one day that I can be a doctor for a lot of these athletes. Becoming um, an ND is, is my number one focus, um, but having CrossFit as um, an outlet, a background to, um, to my schooling is essential. Without CrossFit, I would not be a balanced um, student, and, and it is uh, what makes school so enjoyable. I want to practice um, as an ND, um, hopefully in a realm of, of fitness, um, some type of um, athletic um, ND performance um, route. Um, but as well, I would love to still compete while I still can. Um, in the games the past couple years, there was an athlete who was in medical school, so she's kind of my model and my uh, my influence to continue to compete, try and get to that next level. So as long as I can keep competing, I will. Um, but school is the priority, and, and that's going to be my focus. So um, in the future, I hope to, to uh, really capitalize on the opportunity to be uh, a dual ND and athletic um, athlete.